accurate and reliable, the Geocon Ely Model 1610 is the instrument of choice on tunneling jobs throughout the world. The 1610 is designed to measure changes in the distance separating two fixed points, usually in underground openings. In particular, tunnel walls and the roof floor convergence. Other applications include measurements of the deformation of the Schott Creek tunnel walls used in the new Austrian tunneling method, closure between walls of open cuts in structures, buildings, and unstable slopes. The tape extensometer has two purposes, to apply a consistent tension to a measuring tape, which has holes punched at regular intervals, and to provide an accurate reading of the distance from the punched hole being used to the eye bolt being used. The 1610 consists of a stainless steel measuring tape with holes punched at regular intervals. This tape is stretched between two points on opposite sides of an underground opening. Hooks on the tape as well as the back end of the extensometer are used to connect the instrument to installed eye bolts. On the front end of the unit is a locating pin attached to sliding bars that engages with the closest of the holes punched into the tape. The unit may be shortened and tension applied to the tape by winding the tape tensioning handle clockwise. An additional reel handle at the rear of the instrument controls the extension and retraction of the measuring tape. The ease of which the tape can be wound onto the spool is controlled by a set screw at the bottom of the unit. Should the reel handle tension become too tight or loose, Minor adjustments can be made with a hex wrench. The face of the instrument has the gauge digital readout. The green and red indicator lights allow the operator to correctly tension the measuring tape. It is recommended that one of the following three anchor points be used. A groutable anchor, which is essentially a three-quarter inch piece of rebar with an eye bolt threaded into the end. An expanding wedge anchor, or a weldable anchor that may be spot welded to steel supports. The Model 1610 requires two batteries. A 9 volt battery powers the red and green indicator lights. This battery should be replaced at least once a year and removed if the unit is to be stored for any length of time. The digital gauge readout is powered by a Model LR44 coin type battery. This battery automatically shuts the gauge off if not used for five minutes. A low battery is indicated by the readout flashing on and off. The faceplate of the 1610 must be removed to replace this battery. Before beginning a set of readings, be sure to note the serial numbers of the gauge and the tape to be used. It is also critical to note the ambient temperature at the location to be measured. This table shows the effect of temperature on readings taken. Corrections for increasing temperatures must be added, while corrections for decreasing temperatures are subtracted. This equation can be used for all distances D and temperature T. Before starting any measurements, make sure the display reads 0 millimeters or inches with the tensioning handle turned fully clockwise to its stop. If the gauge does not show zero, press the zero button located below the gauge readout window. It is important to periodically check the zero reading, especially at the start of each set of measurements. Zero stability control points should be established by installing two eye bolts on a stable structure whose dimensions do not change. Preferably, readings taken between these two points would be taken before each measurement survey to ensure the self-length of the tape extensometer does not change over time. An aluminum framework such as this, kept in a stable temperature environment, can be used as a control. The stable control points are also useful for taking practice readings. After attaching the tape hook and the instrument into the anchor points, Place the nearest punched hole on the measuring tape over the locating pin and secure it by sliding the brass tape holding latch all the way over the tape and pin. Turn the tape tensioning handle clockwise 
until one or both of the indicator lights come on. Turn the tensioning handle clockwise in small increments until only the green indicator light stays on when the instrument is at rest and untouched. Place a finger under the tape in front of the instrument. Gently lift the tape to ease the tension being applied. The green indicator light should go off. Removing the finger will cause the green indicator to illuminate again. If the green indicator light stays off, turn the tensioning handle in the clockwise direction to reapply enough tension for the green indicator light to go on and off with gentle lifting and releasing to the tape with your finger. The tape is now correctly tensioned. If the red indicator light comes on, the tape is over-tensioned. In this case, turn the tensioning handle anti-clockwise, then gently begin turning the handle clockwise until one or both indicators light. Back the tensioning handle off until both lights go off. When you are satisfied the tape has been properly tensioned, take a reading on the digital gauge. Twisting the unit to see the gauge has no effect on the readout as long as the tensioning handle is not moved. The total distance between the eye bolts used equals the sum of the distance along the tape as shown by the punched hole used, plus the digital gauge reading, plus any corrections that must be made to compensate for temperature variations. After taking a reading, turn the tensioning handle anti-clockwise until the sliding bars are extended enough to remove the locating pin from the tape. Tapes may be changed by holding the tape and turning the tape reel handle anti-clockwise to unscrew the handle. Remove the tape reel spindle and the tape may be removed and replaced. It is important to take new baseline readings when changing out a tape as there may be minor differences between tapes. Periodically reel the tape in while passing it through an oily cloth to lubricate and remove any dirt or moisture. Reaching high level anchor points is easier with the optional hook manipulator. The starter kit is 1.5 meters long and makes it possible for an average sized person to reach the roof of a 3.85 meter diameter tunnel. Extension rods for the manipulator are available. The Geocon Ely Tape Extensometer with its accuracy and reliability is the instrument of choice in tunneling jobs throughout the world. The Model 1610 from Geocon, the world leader in geotechnical and structural instrumentation.